host Holly Bailey with Newsweek. We're in Grand Central Station in New York City. This is the third stop that we've had today for John McCain. He started out the day in Boston, uh, where he had a rally. Then we went to New Jersey. And tonight he's ending up the time, his night here on the eve before Super Tuesday here in New York City. Let me just say, tomorrow will be a big day, as we know. We are confident that we are going to do very well. But He's I actually had a pretty lax, a relaxing schedule compared to some of the Democrats who are sort of crisscrossing the country on their planes. John McCain is really actually just doing a, a handful of rallies, and but mostly he's raising money. He had a finance event this morning in Boston. He's got two fundraisers scheduled tonight. He's really focusing a lot on states where it's winner take all, or he's running a lot of advertising in these states. He's not really necessarily doing the same, the same sort of town halls that he was in the past. You won't even see a presidential commercial. If he gets nominated, he's going to run here, he's going to run hard here, and he's going to win. And he is going to win in New York, he's going to win in New Jersey, he's going to win in Connecticut. He is the only one who has a chance to do that. I will compete and win in New York State in November as the nominee of my party. John McCain's strategy this past couple of days seems to be putting him in places where he can get the most publicity, the most airtime on local TV news. And in fact, Tuesday morning, John McCain is actually going to have a rally um, outside the windows of the Today Show in Rockefeller Center. It's almost sort of a joke. It's, you know, I wonder if we're going to drive the Straight Talk Express past, you know, the CBS Morning News window or where they film Fox and Friends. It wouldn't be surprising. That's sort of been the strategy so far is to get all the free publicity they can get. I'm Holly Bailey with Newsweek.